Hello there, it's your pal Carl Welshman. We've got a bit of an unboxing. This is my first ever order from Craft Central, who are based down in Southern Ireland. Now, I've mentioned before trying to buy beers from the mainland and the extortionate amount of money that they're looking at for postage and packing. And I know it's not their fault. No, it's not their fault. But it, it makes no fucking sense to me because where I'm living in Northern Ireland, it should be just classed exactly the same as anywhere else in the fucking UK. But I also see that they have to charge a little extra to even do deliveries to parts of Scotland. And I'm, I'm assuming the islands and shit like that that's around. So I was over the moon when one of the very few rare occasions where an advert popped up on Instagram, a suggested thing came up and it was for these guys. Because I started going through their, web, the booer, through their website, right? Having a little look at what beers that they had. And I was like, these are fucking great. They look fucking great. I hadn't initially looked at where they were based or anything like that. Sometimes, you know, you do a bit of window shopping, just looking at beers to give you ideas and things. And I was like, they look great. Probably can't get any. Then when I saw that they were in euros, the prices, that was it then. I was like, oh, fuck it. There's no way I'm going to get them. There's no way. That was when I went on to the FAQs and looked at all of the stuff about the delivery and lo and behold, turns out, not only do they deliver their beers around Southern Ireland where they're based, but they also deliver up to Northern Ireland as well for a fucking very reasonable six euro, which is bloody spot on considering this big old box. So let's have a look or what Carl Welshman got. While I'm doing this, I'll just explain. I'm wearing this vest because I've been doing a bit of boxing today. I was doing the old boxing, keeping up with the fitness. Get the alcohol in, get the fucking boxing done, keeping up with the punches and stuff, you know, gotta look after yourself. But we are still sticking, guys, to the once a week drink session. And even when I say session, right, I've reduced the amount of beers that I'm drinking on them as well, so we're okay. We're looking after ourselves, let's get this open. That's how I like to use scissors. It's one of my favorite ways of using scissors. Pop that open. Ah, oh, there we go, beautiful. Beautiful little mix of stuff there. Right, here we go. So, this website, what I loved about it was they had beers and sours and gozers and imperials just from all over the world, from everywhere. So there was just absolutely brilliant selection of fucking beers that I could get. Now I do like a little visit to my bottle shop, right? And they do have a nice mix of beers there, but predominantly they're local beers, which makes sense. That's good, that's good. I'm still supporting my local, my local breweries. I've got a box probably on one of my earlier videos, which I'll upload later on, but it'll be an earlier video on YouTube here from Boundary, a big old pile of beers from Boundary. And in that video I explained I wanted to get a nice core cool range of beers that I could sip, sip and enjoy, because I know I fucking love them. And then just have a side of random beers, which I'm, I'm gonna get from these guys every now and again. So we're starting here. We've got a purple macaroon or macaron session, a smoothie sour gozer. Next up, we've got an imperial pastry sour ale coming in at a fucking 10%. Yeah, I'm gonna go into more details in these in some later later videos. Here we've got a Canadian breakfast sour. Here we've got a barrel aged sparkling ale with grapes coming in at a 7.2%. <coughs> ah, next up, I'm actually looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this one a lot. So this one is actually is from a local a local breweries. Let me get a little bit of light on you. Hey, but a little bit of light didn't make much, 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 much difference. This is Hopfully Stark IPA. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. We got Strawberry Sour Candy Braggot from my from Mad Scientist. I'm gonna I'm gonna bloody clue what that's gonna be about. We've got. 
Belgian cherry beer, Belga Maggi. Oh, that tin feels nice. We got this Thomas Gelato Schwalder Kirsch de Bursch de Bursch. I don't know, some some sort of some sort of <laughs> beverage. <laughs> Oh, we got, I got another one from half of the year. This is a Secret Handshake New England IPA. It's an exclusive one for, for Craft Central. We've got a yellow macaron or macaroon smoothie sour goza. We've got a pineapple and strawberry smoothie sour goza. And last but not least, we've got this beet blood beetroot goza so as you can see i went for quite a mix of strange beers and gozas and whatever you want to call them strange mix of alcohol which i'm looking forward to getting stuck into um and i'll, I'll, I'll chuck a few reviews along the way if if i can be bothered okay thanks for watching the craft central ie can't fault you guys put the order in yesterday morning yesterday fucking morning and about 24 hours later i've got a delicious selection of beers